Oh, hey guys, and welcome back to another TTM Tuesday. I'm actually filming it for a TTM Tuesday for the first time in, I guess, three weeks. Um, if you're following my channel, I apologize. I'm a teacher. It's the end of the school year, so things are quite hectic, and I am just spent by the end of the day. But summer vacation is almost upon us, so I hope to be very consistent with my postings, um, especially opening my TTMs because I really don't want to save them too long anyway. Um, this week I have five returns right here. I have taken the liberty of cutting the edge off just to expedite the process, but I have not seen who they are. And I do not check the post mark on the front to determine the city just to keep it a mystery. So first return of the week is... Bob Tewksbury, former pitcher for the Cardinals and Yankees, and Twins. Um, this is new to my collection. I haven't had Tewksbury in my collection before. He can take as long as a year or even 400 days to come back. These have been gone about a month. The 87 tops on top has a bit of a ding. Signed in blue Sharpie. 97 Fleer Series 2 and Series 1. I used to collect the 97 Fleer set. Um, I'm thinking of get, about getting it back into it, and he signed a 92, so that would be 404 from Tewksbury, so it's nice to add a new player into the collection every now and then. I do keep track of that. I'm at around 2,600 different baseball players, um, and then far fewer for the other four sports. Um, and I'm still, believe it or not, processing the massive TTM break that I did at the beginning of May. Second one is former super prospect Adam Pyatt. Piet, I always pronounce it Piat. He signed a finest card, a just miners card, and a 2000, I believe it's 2000 tops prospects card, which I hope to send Aubrey Huff shortly. So I hope to make this a multi signed card. But that's really nice. If you remember when he was coming up, this is when the A's were seemingly churning out major players out of their system. Uh, he dominated the Pacific Coast League thought to have a ton of power and didn't really pan out. So that was a three of three success for him. He took about two weeks. Next return is a single card and it is a 1974 for my 1974 set, Bob Gritch. The crease here, which I don't know if it was creased when I sent it. Um, I sent five dollars to feed a Gritch. That's a number 109, signed very nicely in blue sharpie. Um, I haven't had I don't have a com current tally, but I'm at around 400 different 74 tops cards um, I know that it's a set that's almost impossible to complete But I really like the look of it and might as well make it as complete as I can Success number four of the week is sorry. I have to make sure to put it on the camera Bernie Allen oh, there's one more stuck in there So Bernie Allen former twin this is about a month out. His signature's getting pretty shaky. Signed a 68, a 67 Senators card, a 71 Senators. That turned out really nice. The card's in rough shape, but that's all right. A 66, and then I sent a second 68. I don't normally include doubles, but I had two vintage. So that was five of five. Very nice. I like the 66 a lot. It's an interesting patch there on his sleeve. So a couple good vintage returns this week. And the final one of the week will be Greg Gross, care of the, I believe the Reno Aces is where he coaches, so I sent him three cards and he did sign all three. One of them, the 75 Tops Cup card, which is what I wanted, that was the top card that I sent. He signed an 84 Tops in blue. And an 88 tops in blue. I always toss around whether I should actually kind of go after this set. So the 88 tops is the first year that I actually open packs. Um, and so I remember these cards well from my childhood, 84s before it. Um, and then that's another nice one to add to the 75 growing collection. I wouldn't even call it a set yet. Um, so that's it. Those are my five returns of the week. If anybody is curious on how I got them, um, fees, it was $5 for Bobby Gritch. The rest were free. Um, feel free to PM me for an address if you'd like. 
Um, comment below if you've ever sent to these guys, if you have any in-person experiences with these guys, or particularly, you know, maybe you have a memory of watching them play or meeting them in person. I'd love to hear about it. Um, but that's it for me for TTM Tuesday. Um, I hope everybody out there enjoys collecting. Um, and I hope to see you again maybe Saturday. I have a Swag Bucks Saturday coming up, another awesome pull, um, again, for completing surveys online. Um, a decent addition to my Red Sox collection as a, as a kind of preview. Um, and thanks again for viewing. I appreciate it.